This way? Here we go. Yep. That way. Pass it down. Does everybody have an agenda down? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I got writing on one of them. Send the one that's right this one. This one has writing on it. Yeah, I need that one. This is good. He's got this mine. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. And I want to welcome you to the Hampton Municipal Budget Committee meeting. Uh, tonight is the budget workshop session, and the date is November 3rd. Um, 2015, if everybody would rise and pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just to Refresh everybody at home. We've got a little bit different of a format than we have had in the past. Tonight is a, um, a budget workshop in which there'll be presentation and questions by the committee. Um, but as we have said in previous meetings, all votes on the budget itself will be during the review period at the end of all of the presentations. So tonight we will be welcoming in um, the planning board. Um, building code inspection, zoning, uh, the cemeteries, and any miscellaneous committees. It's not a long agenda. I know you're all disappointed the meetings aren't four hours long anymore, but we'll just have to make the best of it. That being said, as usual, I would like to go around and just have all the members introduce themselves. <coughs> we'll start on this side with Selectman Bean. Hi, Phil Bean. <laughs> Nick Bridle. Scott Blair. Mike Pierce. Sandra Nickerson. Sonny Kravitz. Jamal Lachlan. Brian Lapham. Eileen Latimer, Chair. Stephen LeBranche. Bob Ladd. Mike Clough. Jerry Zanoy. Dave Wood. Thank you, everyone. Okay, moving on to um, first, hang on, I think tonight, our first um, part of our session is with planning. And who do we have that's going to represent that? Thank you. Jason, if both of you would speak your names clearly, we have a new secretary. We don't have a secretary in the room anymore. It's all recorded. Absolutely. Uh, good evening. Uh, Jason Bashan, town planner. Thank you, Jason. Mario Olivier, office manager. Thank you, Lynn. And we're over here, I guess, on page 10. Page 10. Page 10. Jason, I think this is the first time. Uh, second. Second. We're a little bit last year. A little bit last year. Yeah, but we, get, we gave you a free pass last year. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this year's the real stuff. All right. Um, <laughs> Scott, give us an overview on what's happening Certainly. with your department. Certainly. Um, well, you have our uh, budget before you. Um, so it is essentially it's the, it's the same as last year's budget except for a couple of cha minor changes here. Um, under regular wages, um, you'll note there's a 1.5% uh, merit adjustment that was incorporated for uh, for Lori and myself um, as uh, per the planning board that was incorporated. And uh, under uh, replacement equipment, you'll see $1,000 added there where it was zero last year. The reason for that is for the maintenance contract renewal for our Canon uh, large format uh, printer and scanner, and also to replace the print head, which would, is expected to be due in 2016. Uh, aside from those two items, um, same as last year, and uh, I would be happy to answer any questions that, that the members would have on that. Well, apples for apples, you can't, we can't complain, can we? Um, now that printer, is that the printer that was purchased the year before? How old is that? I believe it is now two years. I think, yeah, it was the previous year. I believe it was 2014, I believe it was purchased. Yeah. So we had it on a one year and then it expires. It's expired now. So that makes sense. Um, <coughs> all right. Now that one, and for the increase, the one and a half merit, has that already been placed? Not in place in 2015 and going forward into 2016. No, that would be that would be for 2016. For 2016, Correct. that yes. would begin. That would be retro, or that would begin in March. Um, yeah, with with the budget taking effect in March. Yeah. March. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions? Raising hands. 
Jerry? Yeah, I have three or four. Certainly. Um, <clears throat> first of all, welcome. Ari and yourself, Jason. Okay. Um, I'm looking at contracted services, for instance. Okay. And I went back, I looked at 11, 12, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. And that all ran about 11, 5, 11, 6. And 15, when you came on board, it went to 13, 4, 90 year to date, <laughs> which annualizes out to 17, 9, 87. And I'm wondering if this is the start of, of things, or is this just an anomaly, or something as a result of all the buildup at the beach that's going on, or what? Well, I mean, under contracted services, a large part of that is, is are the dues to the uh, Rockingham Planning Commission, for which we are a member. Um, oh, the, the dues in uh, 2015 were 11990 so that's a large chunk oh of, of that right there. And for 2016, they're anticipated to be 12130 so there was a slight Rockingham County, mm -hmm. Rockingham uh, Planning Commission, correct? Um, you know, we, in uh, 2015, we added the uh, Esri GIS software, as the as the uh, committee may recall. Um, that was fifteen hundred dollars. Um, there will be four hundred dollar annual maintenance for the use of that, which is definitely very productive, and, and glad that we have that in, in our office well, now. Rockingham County is the big driver, though. <coughs> I mean, but, they, but, they, but they're very important. Uh, yeah, part yeah, of our yeah. I'm just, just that. I just, um, I knew we entertained them, and I didn't. I, I knew that we paid them dues. I just didn't realize they were such a big part of the uh, contract and services. And there could, and there could be other, you know, you know, projects, <laughs> projects, and thing that yeah. things that come forward, yeah. and we want to make sure. I thought that maybe with all the that. beach condos going up or something, that you really have to contact other contracted services to to support your efforts and I didn't know if that was I, I see that as a different animal okay altogether. all right okay. Um, staff development uh, zero year to date no 15 through September requesting 1240 at small bucks but for 16 we spent 917 and 213 and 711 and 214 is is that something that 1240 that's probably going to happen or is well, well that's that zero doesn't represent uh, everything. We've also, there was a conference that I attended recently, a planning conference that would show up there. Okay, um, my my, my the memberships, you know, AICP uh, renewal memberships coming up at the end of this year. So that's going to be a large part of that. So that'll that'll be at and budget. Through September it was zero. So Correct, I, I but at the I, end of the year you'll see that at budget. Yeah. Yeah. Um, supplies and expense, the last four years, that was <coughs> $33,000, you are now asking for thirty six. Um, year to date this year, it's 1175. What annualizes annualizes out to 1500 or so, 67. Is there any discussion there that you'd like to speak to us about? Um, I mean, under you know the previous, I mean, we anticipate you know it'd be closer prior to budget within 20, in 2016. I mean, our mileage is incorporated under there. Attendance at other statewide and regional planning events is involved there um, in terms of the mileage. Um, there will likely be publications and other planning resources and tools that I would purchase under that line item that because I've only been here a year that I haven't, you know, really gotten to yet. So it's an important line item just because it's not at the maximum at the moment doesn't mean that it's not. And the last one is advertising. The last four years you've averaged about 2,900. 2015 to date is 42.92, annualizes out to 5,700. <coughs> And what are your thoughts on this line item? Um, well, that's mostly reimbursable from applicants. It rep represents a very busy year that we've had this year. Um, the fees, we revised our fees uh, July 1st, 2015. That well, also revenue that's coming in as a result of this. Certainly, and, and that you know includes a now we require a $50 legal notice fee from applicants, and we also our, a butter's fee was raised from $750 to $10 per a butter. So that's so that's a reflection of, of the amount of you know you know busyness busyness that's coming in in our. What revenue, kind of revenue are we talking? Do you have any We're talking, idea? my understanding is as of Oct the October balance uh, prior to generating the report, we're at 23758 So that's my understanding. And that's so, above, so this above advertising above. leads to, yeah. you're saying, 23000 bucks in, in, in part, yeah. In, in fees and Certainly. registrations and yeah. stamps or whatever A else. A lot of it. that is, yeah. And what, when you say advertising, what, 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 what is, what's the nature of this advertising? I don't understand. Well, what we well when, when an applicant um, applies to, to the planning board, um, a legal notice has to be advertised in the, uh, in the newspaper, in the Seacoast online. Just so for the applicant, when he applies? For, for a public hearing. Public, hear, public oh, hearings have I to be see. advertised. I see. 
And we also have to notify a butters, and, and the butters notice is taken into account there as well. I got you. What's the butters? Okay, those are my uh, look. The only things that caught my eyes. Very good. But uh, I felt I needed to ask them. Okay. Else? Sounds good. Sunny. Yeah. Uh, couple of questions. Sure. I'm, I'd be curious on the revenue side. Yes. You know, the permits, the fees, the impact fees. Have you, have you ever compared what Hampton charges with other towns? As Might far be. as we did, as part of our, um, our, when we revised our fee process, as part of application fees, we looked at what other towns were charging and for their abutters and so forth, and that was all taken into account when, when the planning board adopted its uh, fee schedule. So, so yeah, we're, we've taken that into full account. Okay. We're competitive. Now the, now the Warren articles will come up under a different format, Elaine. Different meeting. Mm -hmm. different, different meeting. They've got a bunch of Warren articles. Different yep, meeting. no, different meeting and only if they involve money. Well, oh. A lot of times the planning board's articles don't involve money, so we don't right. get them. Do you have any that will? I don't. It's all zoning articles. It's that all I zoning. Yep. So under, zone, under um, that we usually don't. Are there any other questions on the budget, Sandy? On... Um, Page 10, under the regular wages, planner mm -hmm. and office manager. Are those two separate people? Yes. Yep. Okay, I'm the town planner. She's the office manager. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I thought. So can you tell me what the salary is for for you, for the planner? It's uh, 70, 70000 And what is it for the office manager? It was what I had in the hair salad and index. Salad. That's before your uh, one and a half bump. Jace, right? I'm sorry? That's before your one and a half bump, 70,000. Before the one and a half for 2016, yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's 70 right now, Sandy. We had to the position allocated was <coughs> 41,995.20 was allocated to. I'm yeah. sorry, 41 what? That's based on 40 hours. That's based on 40 hours. I don't though. work 40 she hours. She doesn't work 40 <laughs> hours. The 35-hour rate was 36, 7, 45, 80. So I'm sorry about that. Make that clarification. Okay. 36, what is it? Then? 7, 45, 80 cents. And based so on the 113, 680 is with the increase in there. It, that, that includes the 1.5% uh, increase, which actually amounts to $1,680. I don't, it's not broken out. I, it must be in the back though. Anyway, well, I'm, looking, the I'm looking at 05 um, OB65 and it, it's, I think it's got like a, actual and then it's got the 2015 year. And yeah, there's an appendix here, Sandy, that's got all the salaries in it, but I, what is it? A. A. Mm. Appendix, A. appendix A, appendix A, it's got all yeah. the salaries in it. Yeah, okay. appendix A. Great, all right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Michael yeah, and Brian. Uh, something that's very important to point out is when we're talking about salaries here, that does not include benefits. So right. keep in mind that there's another chunk of change someplace else in this budget. Yeah. Right, in the benefits. Right. Yeah. But we'll see that. And we'll see it. Some section of it'll the It'll be budget. all lumped together with everybody, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Brian? Um, thanks for coming. Um, legal expenses. Yes. You that's, have a dollar. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's because uh, that's, that's, yeah. that's right. um, I'm just not so sure that's. It's covered under the town attorney's budget. We, it's worth. Okay. Yeah, All right. Okay. Yeah. Let me, yeah. let me expand a little bit on that. Have you had any instances in the past year where you have had to use the town attorney? The town attorney, of course. How frequently? Uh, I work with them on a regular basis. All right, and when you go to him for the use of funds, do you go directly, or do you go through the board of selectmen? Um, well, we did gone through him. I mean, we did have one um, request earlier in the year that we used outside legal for, and it was covered under his budget. So I, I imagine that was through him. I don't recall exactly the specific nature of how that was, but it was through. Uh, <coughs> I know it was through him. So there's no. I guess the thing is, there's no protocol for planning board which is an elected board 
to have to go through the Board of Selectmen. You can access outside counsel or you have accessed outside counsel directly through the attorney, through Attorney Gerald. Correct. Who has outside funds available, Correct. we know, in his budget. Correct. Thank you. Just a question. Well. Um, I interrupted Brian. I just wanted a little expansion on that. Staff development. Yes. Can we do any of this in house? Um, staff development. Well, no, because staff development involves my attending conferences um, for uh, you know certification maintenance credits for my AICP certification. Um, that that's not things that are done typically in house. You attend conferences that are regionally or mm -hmm. throughout the you know Maine, New Hampshire, and. Vermont area, the Northern New England uh, chapter. So I mean, it's it's not something that's that's done in house. Plus, you learn from others and, and their experiences. So I think oh no, it's very I understand, important. totally understand that, and that's the best part I like about them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just wanted to ask because yeah. I know in other departments we have been able to do some things in house. And my last thing, and it's gonna, I'm, you're not gonna be any different. Supplies and expenses up twenty percent. Supplies and expenses up. Yeah. It's um. I know it's probably out of your control, but I'm going to mention it to everyone because it's a huge part of our budget this year. Okay. And that's all I have. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, Scott, yeah. and then yes. Oh, do you um, do your revenue budget, or is that done by somebody else? Um, uh, finance. Finance. Okay. Thank you. The only thing I have to ask: <clears throat> How often does the planning board meet? Is it Weekly? Twice a month. Twice a month, okay. Correct. And I know that Laurie are there to take the minutes. Mm -hmm. So then you have to adjust your hours in the office so that you still stay within your 35? I try to stay within the 35, but if I go over, depending on office needs, I'm usually in the realm of 35 to 40. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know those meetings can go long. Lately. <laughs> yes. And, well, and, the, and the thing is that, you know, at the same time, you want to have somebody in the office so if you know people come in to ask a question um, so that's why I thought you know it must be a little bit difficult the nights that you have those meetings so thank you that's all I have. have you ever seen her minutes they're excellent oh, thank you. <laughs> I have seen her. I could never but anybody we won't ever hire me as a secretary trust me um, anyone else yeah any other questions Sunny another one? yeah uh, if I recall, you chaired a subcommittee on yes. the zoning on Liberty Lane. Yes. Why don't you talk to that about that and explain it to the community? Certainly. Does it have to do with the budget? Does it have to do with money? No. If it, ha do if it doesn't have anything to do with the budget, I'm going to <coughs> ask that to be at a different time and a okay. different platform. Um, Nick? Um, 2014 <coughs> replacement equipment, 7400 why was that so high in 2014? Maybe that was when the, that was when the printer was purchased. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was the one-year extended service contract? Was there any way we could, could make that further, or is this something that just that was all that was it, offered? It's, or? it's annual renewal at this point in time, okay. so okay. It, it can be renewed annually. We contacted them and verified that with okay. the company. Thank you. Yeah. Good can you extend that to any longer than one year? We can. That's what I'm saying on an annual, yeah, for annual dollars. increment for thousand yeah. dollars. Every yeah, I'm just saying, could you extend it, say, for five years at a discount? No, because no, it was one year at contracts. this point in time. That's what they. That's what the company told us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, there are, are there any other questions? No. Okay. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, Actually, next was building and code inspection. Yeah, which is. Uh, on the, yes, on the list. Okay. Hi, Kevin. And you can jump to page 33. 33. Oh. Kevin Schultz, thank you for joining us. Good evening. How are we? Well, I'm always happy to see you. You make the budget happy. <laughs> happy to be seen. What I have for you tonight is my uh, proposed budget for 2016, which is $217,661, which is pretty much a flat budget, um, small 
increase of 0.61%. And that increase is basically uh, related to uh, wages and salary, contractual uh, obligations, things like that. Okay. Can I just, maybe I have my figure wrong. Did you say 217000 Six hundred and sixty-one dollars. Okay, I was looking at two eighteen. Yeah, that was the original one, and there was an adjustment made with the board of selectmen um, on the gasoline, and there was a reduction there of almost four hundred dollars, I believe. So it's a new total again. I'm sorry. Say it again. The new total again. Two one seven six six one. Okay. Thank you. Is this for the, the uh, sixty-three fifty account? What, what account is a gasoline? Is, is it is it 6350? 6350. And what is the new total there? The new total there is 2642. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the book. It's on page 13. If you look exactly. at your summary sheet, oh, I got it. Page 13, all the numbers match up to what you just said. Right. Okay. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt you, Kevin. Other than that, um, it's pretty much status quo. Uh, basically, a, a budget that I've been Staying within the uh, target by monthly uh, expenditures, they are a little bit under, and especially this year, we've been trying to be even more conscientious about that because of the last winter we had and everybody's budgets and that. And just trying yeah. to watch out for everybody. All the departments kind of working together, to make sure we get through this year, the end of the year, without any problems and. Uh, Basically, right on target as far as expenses uh, through September, and uh, pretty much the same budget I've been giving you for the last four or five years. So. I know. And just as a comparison, what is the income from your department? Revenue. Uh, revenue? Oh, it's, on the, it's on the back page here. It's on page four, 34. Yeah, just. Well, uh, I can tell you we are. Very busy department. We got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. I don't have to tell you. All you can do is take a ride around town. You can see a lot of stuff, especially some very large projects down the beach. And oh. we are on pace to go past what we did last year, was, which was quite a year. But as of the end of October, I think it's 325, is that according to yeah, that? That's on page 34. I've uh, taken in just under $265,000 in permit fees. So we don't and know I still why got two you're months here. to go. <laughs> Basically, we should have given you a free ride tonight. <laughs> Bye. Well, Bye, Kevin. <laughs> no, I've been almost a free ride. I mean, when we have a department that brings in more revenue. Yeah, so I, I, I got, I got um, two more months of uh, permit-generated revenue that's going to be coming in on top. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be... I'm going to be around three hundred thousand dollars. I can tell you that, and that's not counting uh, what we brought in in impact fees mm -hmm. for the schools as well. That number is that's got to be up there. It's you know good size number. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I don't have that in front of me. I'm sorry, but that's available. And the new so connection that fees is, in that's addition not to the permit fees. So. Yeah, it certainly, it certainly exceeds my operating budget and what I'm looking for here. And uh, I'm not looking or asking for anything that I don't need. And, you know, some of the line items on there, I may not have been spending them down. Mm -hmm. But at this point, I really don't see the need to adjust <coughs> them because I think they're modest and, and they're, they're fail-safe kind of numbers for me. With your activity, you may need them. What's that? With your activity, you may need them. Yeah, you you know you never know. I mean, I've been fortunate with like vehicle maintenance and stuff like that because, uh, you know, we've been able to get a couple of fairly new trucks now. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got a 2012. 2012, and, yeah. You know, so that you know, but tires are going to be coming up and things like that. So, I, I guess if you really look real close at some of them. Um, you might be able to take a few hundred bucks here or there or something to bring it in line with the targeted usage percentage wise but you know staff development again i normally go uh, i used to be very faithful with my building officials meetings mm -hmm. on a monthly basis in concord um 
I've been so busy. Those are on Wednesdays, and you're gone the whole day. But um, I, I really enjoy them. I do go to the ones that when the topic is something I really want to learn about. It's yeah. an educational thing in that, and they have speakers or mm -hmm. teachers come in or other inspectors from around the country. I will go to those, but I used to go monthly. They were very good to attend. And you stay in touch with the other building inspectors throughout the state and see what's going on. But I haven't been able to do them so much uh, recently just because we're slammed. Mm -hmm. so. Do you think, or how soon do you think you'll reach a point where you will need to expand personnel? <laughs> <coughs> well, we Tomorrow. in order to do that, we'd have to expand the building. <laughs> I got nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> when that time comes, we'll have to find another place for my office. But um, I don't know. It, it, it's fast paced, but we seem to be keeping up with it. I I, I don't know if you. I can't see the. I, I suppose it could get even busier than what we're doing. But okay. these last few years have been phenomenal. Yeah. And it's all good. I love it. I mean, it's all good stuff. Well, it's good to hear that it's all in hand and um, well controlled. Thank you. Michael? Uh, yes, how much time out of your daily routine, like 20%, 10%, do you do use to, for the connection fee activity that we're doing now? For the what? Connection fee. Connection fee? Yeah, for the sewage and yeah. like extra bed bedrooms and stuff, bathrooms and stuff like that. That's not my department. Where would that be? Public works? Sewer department. Yeah. Period. You don't get involved with that, then? No, no, sir. Okay. That answers my question. Thank you. Sonny? Yeah. I'm curious. What cut for your $600 uniform, what do you get? A zoo suit? What? What do I get for $600? Yeah. I get 200 of that as my share. Yeah. <laughs> I have two other inspectors. And that buys me a few sweatshirts that I occasionally rip or dungarees that I might rip because I'm in someone's crawl space or in someone's attic. It gets me a jacket. Come on, us. Keep me warm, let you know who I am. Make me look handsome. <laughs> I need more money for that. But. Official. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the budget. Not in the budget, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> on the tape. Yeah, but vehicle maintenance again. Uh, Kevin, I mean, are these vehicles that we have, that one's got 16000 on it, the other one's got 27000 are they under warranty still? The 2012s? No. They're not under warranty. 12000 miles warranties on those. Oh. Well, did you buy them new? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. generic warranties. On I thought they were 36000 on, uh, on, <laughs> on a warranty. Yeah, I, think so. I can double, I can check on that. that for you, Jerry. I, but I'm, I'm saying that with the two new vehicles, I'm just, you know, would we, are you envisioning encountering the same kind of maintenance cost that the $1,800 that you're asking for? You know, uh, I'm wondering if, if the history of that uh, was developed one with old vehicles that, that cost those things. Uh, and yeah, and again, like I, I think I mentioned it 10, earlier. 10, 12, 11, or 12 might have been. Yeah, that, that $1,800 has been being brought forward to you, like I said, for at least probably four or five years before we had the new trucks. Mm -hmm. I just, I didn't adjust it when we got the new trucks. It didn't even dawn on me to, mm -hmm. and I didn't think it was a substantial amount of money. To, it isn't, it isn't, to, but it's just, make it a it's a question that I, Someone I, can look I, I see the, what we've spent, and I'm saying that $1,800 or whatever must have been developed when we had older vehicles, and I know when I was a <coughs> yeah. we put one on for you that yeah, one absolutely. year, and I think you got one the next year. Yes, sir. But that 1800 was probably developed around or arrived at through, through costs that we we encountered back earlier than eight, nine, and ten or so. Older truck. Older yeah, truck. I, I believe you'd be correct. And uh, and the same the same thing about staff development and uniform expense. It's a modest it's a modest amount of money you're asking for. You spend about half of this modest amount. Every probably year, so. the last two years, I yeah. would say. If we so. went back a little further, I probably spent more than that. But, but it is you got to understand, as part of that staff development yeah. um, account, also covers all uh, code books and related um, memberships and things like that. And the codes change on a three-year cycle. Very expensive books. Are they? Very expensive books. How many books? Well, is a shelf about as long as this table. Um, 
you know, plumbing codes, mechanical codes, wow. fuel gas code, energy code, international building code, international residential code, the NEC electrical code. Do they sidebar? What and they start them? around, I think the last book I bought was the latest uh, updated uh, electrical code book, which was around 400 bucks just for that book, wow. or, or a little better than that. Wow. So in a three-year cycle when the state adopts the newest codes, right now we're on the uh, IBC 2009 and related codes, the state, I believe, this upcoming year is going to be going to the 2012 IBC and related codes, and I'm going to have to bring all my books up to current. Now, when they give you the, these new books, do they, do they also give you somehow the changes that were made within these oh, books? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to look through any page of an 800-page book? No, actually what you do is you can buy a separate book that actually spells out what the changes are. Per each plumbing, electrical, or whatever? Or um, You could get them for everyone. I don't. I get them for the IB and the IRC. Those are my main, that's which my is, meat and which potatoes. Is, which is what, pota uh, plumbing? No, that's building. Building. That's the main building codes. I see. The international building code and the international residential code. Right. Those, uh, and, and I get those books as well in commentary. So it's a large volume, but it has a lot of illustrations, and it really gets into depth in those two codes, which is very important. It helps me do my job sure. and do it well. Yeah. It helps me with contractors, and it also helps me to help people to explain to them what they need to do and how they need to do it. And I'm constantly making copies and giving out that to the public. You know, this is how you want to build your stairs. This is what it should look like. This is your guardrail. This is whatever. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Kevin, uh, the, this is your proposed budget. Is it any different than last year's budget? Is it? Any, yeah, it's up uh, uh, how, zero how point six seven percent, six one percent. Yeah, point six one. Less than a percent. Okay. Less than one percent. Okay. Brian, get anything? Um, point six one. About how much time do you spend? inspecting in an average day oh personally I would say I mean they vary some days are sure. obviously yeah. much different than others I would say I probably today spent out in the field four to five hours four okay. hours today that's doing inspections traveling between different appointments the appointments are staggered so I might run out and do two, two or three in the morning, and then come back, and then I can answer the phone, answer emails, right. review applications, <coughs> process building permits, and then all of a sudden I got to run back out at eleven o'clock because I got another one on the other side of town, or right. something like that. So it's probably half your day you're actually yeah, out there. I would say for me, half a day would be probably right on. I spend a lot more time in the office right. because I kind of, I'm running the show yeah. there, so I'm yeah. on the phone a lot. That's what I'm I was. having meetings a lot. Right. Yeah. Um, talking to architects and engineers a lot. I have, review a lot of reports, things like that. Where you got Chuck, he's out in the field a lot more than I am. Um, that's what he mainly does. And then, uh, then you got Scott. He's just part time, um, but does a wonderful job. He's three days a week and he's doing our rental housing mm -hmm. and he handles that end of it. So he, he spends a lot of time mailing out letters, reminding people that their CEOs have expired or they're about to expire and then scheduling appointments to get those renewed and then going out and doing those inspections as well. That's great. Thank you. Um, the only thing, uh, the thing I had is um, Thank you for your supplies and expenses. You are dead on correct. Say it again? Your supplies and expenses account is perfect. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Does anyone else have anything? Sunny, third time? Yeah. Uh, you, you, I've got a question. Go ahead. You, you don't get into the picture until the planning board finishes up, right? Somebody... 
uh, somebody wants to build a house. Yes, sir. Or uh, make some changes on his property. That he goes to the planning board. No, sir. He comes to you first. Yes, sir. To get a permit. To see what he may need in order to get a permit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because often it requires waivers and. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and, and, the, re the reason for my question, I, every once in a while I notice in the paper that somebody's put an addition on or made changes and the Board of Selectmen finds out afterwards and then, you know, it's a whole rule out and then, you know, they say have, don't do it again, and, you know. Again, I would ask everybody to stick to things that pertain to the yeah. budget, not internal policies. I don't recall anything like that myself personally, though. Okay, thank you. I, Kevin, I don't see any other questions sitting here for you. Beautiful. Kevin. We're all set. Have a nice well, night. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. We want to thank you night. for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the zoning board. Mm -hmm. And who will be representing the zoning? Fred? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do we have no wing from zoning? I, I say this, I'm looking at um, OBS 6, and actually there's I... There's nothing to th talk about. Right there's really there. nothing mm -hmm. to talk about, except I see, an I see a flat budget, but an increase on the bottom line of 1.88%, and I'm just trying That's to... That's planning end zoning. That's yeah. planning end zoning? Okay. 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 Check. So... Sure. If it's everybody's pleasure here, if it's apples for apples, there mm -hmm. we go. Yep. Are we good Next. with Some yep. moving on on that one? Come okay. on up, Dan. Thank you. There we go. OS OBS six as well. Cemeteries. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Danny Kenny. Good evening. How are you? Uh, okay. I'm okay. Um, budget I'm bringing you tonight is uh, basically the same as last year's. I do have a slight increase, I believe, half a percent uh, that goes to part-time wages. Uh, now, the line items uh, weren't spent as planned due to the uniqueness of this year. Uh, for instance, contract labor. Early this year, we had three large pine trees uh, fall. We mm -hmm. had to get the truck prepared in the nightmare of the winter. Um, that pretty much wiped what we wanted to usually do with it out, like trimming our 180 bushes. So what do you do? Well, you have to have a trickle down to part-time labor, and that's where that's coming out of this year. So. Other than that, um, we're still trying to figure out our utilities. Um, I just want to say, I got um, other than the budget, um, we uh, d due to a stroke, we lost. You know, I, every year I come in here and say how wonderful my workers are, and they they truly are. And uh, earlier this year, our, our Neil Evans, who's been with us many years suffered a severe stroke oh had to retire and uh, certainly all our prayers and mm -hmm. are with him every day uh, I myself have had uh, uh, s some medical issues going on this year um, it's fixable <laughs> they're working on me but it's, it, it, it's a process and um, this, this is where my marvelous foreman, Jimmy Hunt, comes in. I'm not sure I could have gotten through this year without him. There are times when I just couldn't be there when I have been in the past. Mm. And sometimes when I'm there, I'm not quite sure I'm even there. But <laughs> as I say, uh, it's it's not a quick fix, but it's getting there. That, that's really all I have. Mm. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Danny, and I hope yeah. you have a better year in front of you. Thank you, Alvin. Um, Jerry. Yeah. Hi, Dan. Hi, Jerry. How you doing? Hey, you got, we got a new truck. Did we get that truck last year? Yes, and uh, I, want, I want to thank the public for that. Uh, it was l last year was the first year we've had a plow that we were unable to plow. 
because we only did have one truck and that just broke down the first try. And uh, this year, at least we'll have a fighting chance. We're back to two trucks. Now, again. the repairs and maintenance, Dan, for your average is about 3000 a year. You're asking for 3000 again for this year. Uh, was the new truck taking into consideration at all uh, here in lowering the, those costs, or, or no? The old truck was taken into consideration. We still have an old one. That way. Yeah, the the, the now uh, nine-year-old truck, I, which we used to refer to as the new truck for all so these years. So it's the old truck that's driving it. Ah, uh, yeah. It was. It's already. It's been. Uh, well, it was six hundred dollars just this winter out of part-time labor. Uh, excuse me, out of contracted services that you know. So that's. Yeah, and, and and I actually got a. Uh, How many miles on that truck? It only has like about eight thousand miles on it, Jerry. But it's 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 a. Um, it has a lot of problems. It it just it has since day one, to be honest with you. And that's what's driving your. Exactly, exactly. Your your uh, repair and maintenance. Yeah. What's what's the last major repair you had on it then? Replace a transmission or um, axle or no, uh, uh, a master cylinder. I believe was the last thing. I, I, I don't know. You'd have to talk to Donnie Moore down at the depot. He'll be he'll be happy to fill you in. But uh, anyone who knows Don knows what a very honest and forthright mechanic. And I'm not. I don't work for Don. He just happens to. I just happen to be speaking the truth. And uh, mm -hmm. he uh, pretty much tells me uh, like he's the one that told me my old baby, the green one. That for 16 years, he's the one that finally told me it's dead, Danny. Uh, as he did my my wonderful convertible that I loved so much for all those years for 13 years. He's t he told me <laughs> it's time not to spend any more money on this, Danny, and uh, you know, and that's pretty much the. Uh, I must say, Dan, I, I uh, you do an awful lot. Your salary hasn't been adjusted of late. When's the last time you get you got a raise? I don't remember. I mean, you know, I mean, everybody. Last year, everybody I, I think did. last year I did. You did? Yeah. About a grand or something. See, everybody getting one and a half percent raises. Maybe the trustees should have come forward for you for that. Your cemetery trustee. Well, I, you know, I followed. I, it, it really didn't have to do with the. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's my feeling. I, I, I put the budget. You know, you, you know, I, I got to know for the town was something that. Comparing it to uh, World War II ra rations, and you know, and I, I take things like that seriously, and said me be flat. So I, I, I drew up the budget. I presented it. If I wanted to give myself ten thousand dollar raise, I, I would, and I fight for it. Wow! Well, uh, I just, I just know, make a note. That, I appreciate you know, that, Jerry. You're, you're and, 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 and you know what, Jerry? I couldn't agree more. In all the years we've talked, you said, told me, said many wise things to me that. I couldn't agree more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Supplies and expense, Dan. Four-year average is thirty-two hundred. Four, your four-year average is thirty-two hundred. Year to date, you're twenty-three oh nine, thirty-three thousand annualized. You're asking for four thousand. Is there any comments you'd like to make on make on that? Uh. So you're asking yeah. for more supplies and expense this year than you have averaged over the last four years. Right. Well. I wasn't able, I'm, I'm kind of, the things we have to do now with the, the new, as they, there, there were so many answers to that question, Jerry. Again, you know, <laughs> the irrigation system, you know, we fix ourselves and it gets worse every year. Um, a lot of the things, whatever we can fix, okay, like trees, for instance, if we can cut them, we do. Um, and that takes clippers and things like that. They always need repairs. Our old mowers, you know, as long, you know, I, I try to keep a mower as long as I can. Once the engine starts burning oil, that's when it's time to go. But every year they do need things like tires, blades, belts, and same with the weed whackers and, uh, you okay. know, and uh, I don't know, there was some, there's always been mention of uniforms sometime, you know, I just, you know, for me, I, you know, being who I am, I'm not, not in favor of that, but the trustees are. are so. <coughs> and when they get around to it, I guess I'll give them to them. 
to us, and maybe I'll wear them, or maybe they'll fire me. I don't know. Maybe you won't. Does the gasoline count? Has the gasoline account been adjusted here? Yes. It says so. Mm. Uh, yeah. 29, 29, 21. Mm. 29, 21 for yeah. Dan? Yeah. Sounds like we had that number pop up before. So that's been adjusted. So this, this must be in the front then, right? It's right there. Yeah. Page 12. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whoa. Okay. And one other thing, and Dan, this probably doesn't read. I'm going to be able to answer this, but there's a there's 11.17 uh, for the NHRS for cemetery directors retirement percentage. Is that firm, uh, uh, Christy? Is that firm or do we as know? As long as his salary remains what is in the budget, then yes. If it's based on whatever his salary is. So let, so 11.17 percent is firm from the NH. All right. Yes. So I get a raise, so I work. No, I mean it's. No, that's the percentage of the retirement. That's how yeah. much that counts as important retirement. So that's that's not fluid at this point, or about to change by the state or anything like. That. It's not like a municipal. No, it just changed July one of this year. All right, so that's the percentage. Okay, that's all I have. Thanks, sir. Okay, we're on the tables, Sunny. Yeah, I noticed on the health insurance not showing an increase. Yeah. Well, well I don't I, I, I don't I don't use the town's health insurance. I my, I have it through another venue. We just keep it there to keep oh, the line okay. open. Yes. All right. Where the hell is that? I didn't see it. Bob? Over here. Uh, when will the cemetery reach capacity? <laughs> when, it's full. when he starts when standing full. him up vertically. I I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, I, I we are we are probably going to be one of the last public cemeteries around anywhere mm -hmm. I mean by uh, mid-century public ce public cemeteries are going to cease to exist um, they'll always be private cemeteries but what it, what I believe and the general feeling is it's going to be uh, cremains uh, I don't want mortuaries not mausoleums for cremains that's going to be that, that's the wave of the future however we still got a good 11 acres out there to develop so we are, so we are, we are good to mid century. And I, I do get asked this question, it seems every year. It, I mean, that sounds good, but for the first time in a long time, um, a kid being born in town today probably won't be buried in the cemetery. But we've already laid out options for our ancestors. Uh, Saber? We have a, no, no, no. We, we have an area. The that, ocean. We have an area set aside that uh, is probably where the mortuary will be built. Um, and you know that that that's just how it's going to be. And of course, we do. We've made we've done some things like we allow six cremains in a single grave. Um, you know, we do whatever we can to save space. We you know uh, old space out in a section that was uh, which is the old 19th and 20th. Uh, part of the cemetery that that's really back in those days they had like three to five feet that they used as walkways um, we have started selling those as is usually it's a one grave lot for a cremain uh, for cremains like I have a, a family of one in one case I have a family of five so uh, that's an, that, that that was another way that was you know my brainchild so many years ago. I'm saying why aren't we using the space when it's there? So we are, and it's, it's worked out pretty good, except in the damn winter when I have to. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'm more optimistic about this winter. I mean, last winter I had no truck. <laughs> this year I got two, a new one and a and that other truck we discussed. But the new one I really like a lot. It's the truck I wanted. Good. It's you know it doesn't. Uh, I'm very comfortable in it's it. It's got a plow. It's got a plow. It's higher, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm looking forward to plowing. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 we Where know. Did you get that, uh, Dan? Was that like? Um, um, I think it was around April, Jerry. Yeah, April spring. or May. Yeah, yeah. Pre yeah, pretty soon. We did. You know. Uh, but you didn't get the benefit of using it for the winter we had. No, no. Well, it was a Warren article, you know, because I couldn't do anything until March, after yeah. March 10th. So. so you had to do some contract services for that? Or? 
Actually, no, Ke Kenny Lasad was good enough to come in and at least clear Great. the main roads Super. for us. I, That's you nice. Know, and I really appreciated it. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. You have a question? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you can't see me. Um, I didn't know if you were just blocking me. No. Um, the only question I had was on uh, cemetery improvements. You don't have anything for this year? What were you, what were you <laughs> anticipating? Trouble. Well, no. I mean, last year we did a bunch of trees. Are we gonna are all the trees done? Well, we took I know we spent about a. Well, right, right. But I mean, let me. All the trees will never be done. Uh, right. I mean, and I've been I've been saying this now for more than twenty years. We should be spending ten thousand dollars a year on trees for the next ten years. So that was part of my just, question. just today I got, uh, well, I get calls all the time from people asking, you know, neighbors and people. Just today we had a call from one of our neighbors asking if we could do something, cut down their, their tree for them because it was um, dangerous. We have, you know, those white pines, and, they, and again, I have 180 bushes, and I've already explained how right. that, that usually comes out of contracted labor. But because of the trees <laughs> falling, <laughs> Um, in the truck, um, we had to move it down to part-time labor. So you've got to just okay. go with okay. it and juggle. Well, that was the second part of my, I mean, are you going to have to contract some of this out? Um, so, uh, such as? Uh, with any trees, anything like that? Oh yes. As far oh, yes. as the cemetery oh, yes. goes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 this one, this right. one, the, the, uh, there is one particular one um, that's right behind my building, and you know, I've I've had the experience of having a tree fall on my house when I was laying in bed, <laughs> and uh, this one's ready to fall, range of follow pools. me in my office. So yeah, I'm, I'm planning to have that removed in January and that'll and that'll be contracted it's a, a huge again it's a it's a huge white pine so there's enough in the budget to cover this is I guess is my yes. final in question yes. yes all right thank you but if you recall last year though we, we took yeah. down a bunch of pines in the pine groves that's that was where I was warrant article yeah. right so he, it wouldn't come out of his budget it was a warrant article that was but right. I didn't know if we were it continuing passed. something I We're wish I tried to. You know, that was an hour article. I wish, but I wasn't allowed to. I so wish I could have amended that to say yeah. cemeteries, period. So, because we could have used some of that money up at High Street and some other places. You know, <laughs> no trees fell in Pine Grove, but they did a ring swamp in High Street. But that's the back end of the Warren articles. Everybody wants to say that they um, go to a specific project. Well, if you could spread some of that around a little. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, what's what's done is done. All right, Danny. Thank yep. you. You know, thank before you. you leave, Danny, I, Jerry forgot to ask you what color is the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only kidding. Please, <laughs> nobody Dan, involved in that. Have a very nice evening. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. All. Thank you. Right. Well, I think we're almost we're like one minute shy, so maybe we should just hear and sit here and talk mm -hmm. for a minute. Okay, um, that's our agenda for. The, oh, I'm sorry, it's not our agenda. I'm going to ask Fred. Fred, miscellaneous committees. Do we have any committees? There are none. There are none. Check. Check. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we are back here Thursday night. Okay. Will you entertain a motion to adjourn? I, not just yet. Oh, okay. Um, he was trying to push me last week, too. I know that. <laughs> Thursday night, we'll have a couple of um, rounds of minutes to approve, so that's a little bit of a difference to the agenda. The agenda remains the schedule. There's been a couple of changes in the schedule, nothing earth-shattering, but I do have Thursday night's agendas here. I've given out a couple already, and... I, I have Tuesday, November 5th, so please, if you have a Tuesday, November 5th, My please cross out Tuesday and write Thursday now so you don't get confused. Uh, and and if you don't days. have Thursday's agenda, pick it up from me at the end of the meeting. And with that being said, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. The branch. Second. There we go. All right. And to vote on that, all those in favor of adjourning. All right.
Thank you. Unanimous. Thank you, gentlemen.